So today we are taking a look at a 400 year old grade 2 listed building. For centuries it was a cherished home to many local influential families and it even once had a fleeing King Charles II seeking refuge on its doorstep. In more recent times it's been used as a magistrate's court and for NHS services but today it lies disused and derelict. This is or was the main entrance and reception area. As you can see it's taken quite a beating. Interestingly, the only window that this smashed frame could fit comes from the opposite end of the property on the top floor, but we'll get to that window later. A side room to this one contains the electricity meters and a toilet which currently boasts heated seating. The reception area also contains a smashed up toilet for those who don't want to wait. Beyond the entrance lies a dining room slash kitchen area. The only thing worth noting in here is the Victorian geometric flooring, which given the age of the building are quite possibly OG 19th century tiles. The back of the ground floor is mostly given over to a ladies and gents facilities. I'm sure in days past these rooms had other uses, but for now it's more smashed up toilets. Seriously, why do people have things against toilets? They're probably one of humanity's greatest inventions. There are two other large rooms on the ground floor. According to a floor plan that I found, this one was an admin office, which would have been lovely with a large window and what looks like to be a period fireplace. The other room was a meeting room. Again, there's another original fireplace, a door that suggests that Jack Nicholson was here. And according to the graffiti, we should smile because G1 was here, presumably because the only person capable of this level of graffiti is a f***ing clown. Onto the stairwell, which contains a nice creepy door, and a stone staircase, which doesn't look as inviting as this old photo suggests. According to the plans, there were some sizeable rooms on the upper floors, however those floors don't really live up to their name anymore, and my first step onto the landing was a warning to tread carefully. I was only able to access a storage room and an office with another interesting window aperture before heading through yet another inviting looking doorway up some decidedly 20th century looking stairs. It was up here where I found the window where that frame on the ground floor came from and hallways that would look nice in a horror game. But again, a severe lack of solid things to stand on prevented me from investigating any further. So this building has been pretty much gutted and it's now just a shell. Permission to sensitively convert this into flats was greenlit about three years ago. However, it doesn't appear that much has been done with it since then. If you enjoyed this video, you should probably check out this one up here. But for now, thanks for watching.